Cardinals Take me out with the kids It's friends and fun and Fredward too There's always something great just waiting for you So let's root, root, root for the Cardinals Come on, flip up your lids Cause it's one, two, three strikes You're out with the Cardinals kids Oh yeah! Hey kids, I'm Andy Bennis. This is Fred Bird and you're watching Cardinals Kids brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center right here on Fox Sports Midwest. Well, the regular season's winding down, so Fred and I are packing up for the off season. It's been another great year of Cardinals Kids, Fred. I almost hate to see it come to an end. So what is it, Fred? Is it time for lunch? Wait a minute, are you saying since it's our last show of the season, we should go out with a bang, really do it up right? That sounds great! But Fred, we're gonna need some help. You man, are you in? Last show of the year, I'm in. What do you wanna do first? I know, we can make a banner to celebrate. Fred, go find some paper. You man, do you have any markers? Sure I do. Here, catch. Uh, thanks? Oh, I'm so excited about this really big show, our, our grand finale. Let's get us started with a, a really super exciting edition of the Cap Dance. It's time for the Powered by Peabody Cap Dance. Look at him go. Watch out below. Anybody else getting dizzy? Whew. Oops. Oh, I think I lost it. Those caps are really moving. Here comes the tricky part. Okay, is the ball under cap one, two, or three? It's number one. Great job, and thanks for playing the Powered by Peabody Cap Dance. Coming up next, get some decorating ideas from a super cardinal fan, plus, the year-end celebration continues. You're watching Cardinals Kids, brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where their love for kids just keeps on growing. sees more than 6,000 kids with heart problems each year. We treat them in St. Louis's only state-of-the-art suite that allows us to diagnose and operate in one place. And we have the region's top two pediatric heart surgeons. Each day, our heart team comes together to heal kids, one heart at a time. Having the best, another way our love for kids just keeps on growing. Hey kids, welcome back to the show, or should I say the really big season finale show, woohoo! So to start things off, Fred Bird and I are making a banner. Fred, are you almost done with your part? Okay, let's go hang it up outside the dugout, come on. Uh, Fred, do you notice anything strange about our banner? It says last shoe. It's supposed to say last show. It's the last show of the season. You misspelled the word show, Fred. Fred, I think we better change it. Kids, while we fix our sign, meet a Cardinal fan who not only turned his basement into a man cave, he made it into a Cardinal cave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's take a look. Count it down for me, spelling bee champ. Three, two, one. Roll tape. Well, we've set up the basement with all our cardinal memorabilia. You want to come on down and look at it? Let's go. Best place to start down here is always the World Series room. Um, 
This whole room is dedicated to the Cardinals World Series. The oldest player I have in here is Chick Hafey from the 1926 World Series all the way up to Jason Mott closing out the 2011 World Series. This is Tyler. Tyler's my godson and he's a huge Cardinal fan. All this stuff is mainly just trinkets and collectibles, most of which people have given me. Along this wall, I have uh, 500 home run hitters. That's the Cardinal cue ball. We play a little bit of pool down here. This whole wall is nothing but items from the 2011 World Series. This is Alan Craig jumping over the fence in game seven. That's Fred Bird. We bought the uh, plexiglass sign that was outside of Redbird Lanes in uh, St. Louis that was once owned by Stan Musial and I believe Joe Garagiola. I have a dear friend of mine and Kathy Goodfellow mm -hmm. uh, made a quilt out of all of my own Cardinal t-shirts. These are some of the t-shirts that I physically wore. I've been collecting since 1996 and my first autograph I ever got was in Chesterfield at a fundraiser was Andy Bennis. Andy Bennis signed a baseball and started all of this for me. In my most prized possession, I have one baseball that is signed by all the living Cardinal Hall of Famers along with Jack Buck, Ina Slaughter. Uh, it's also signed by Albert Pujols, Tony La Russa, and I got every single one of the signatures myself. I've loved Cardinal baseball my whole life, and uh, I thought it was a great way to um, put my passion into something that was physically tangible, and it's a great decorating idea. Hey, are you gonna someday be on the wall down here? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Now that's a real Cardinal fan. Fred, I bet our banner would look awesome in this basement. Now, let me see your, okay, we're spelled correctly. This is looking sweet. What the heck? So much for our last show banner. Professor, did you see that? Yeah, that guy's been messing with us all year. No worries though, science to the rescue. We can patch that sign up with some scientifically created Professor Umans, super glue. Here, have some. Hey, thanks, Professor. Let's go try to glue it back together. Come on. Hey, that's good, Fred. Hey, get a lot of glue on there. Good. Don't eat the glue, what's the matter with you? Professor, is this gonna make him sick? I better evaluate this situation. Mm. Mm. You know what, I think Fred's gonna be okay. I, uh, I seem to have confused my super glue with the frosting I was gonna use on my cinnamon rolls. It's been a long season, kids. Well, enough with the super glue. Let's move on to our next segment. Magical Cardinal Memories, brought to you by our friends at the Magic House. What's your favorite Cardinal memory? Uh, when the Cardinals won the 2011 World Series. What was that like? Um, it was very exciting. What'd you do, jump up and down? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Cardinal memory? Well, my daughter Emily is 10, and she got to go to her first baseball game before she was two. And my other daughter, Allison here, is gonna be two, so this is her first Cardinals game. So we're just excited to take them both to the game again. All right, congratulations! Yay! Yay hey, why not create some magical memories of your own at the Magic House? They have super cool exhibits, exciting summer camps. It's even a great place for birthday parties. For more information, go to magichouse.org. Coming up on Baseball Tip of the Week, Learn the right way to play the game from the pros. Cardinals Kids, brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. We'll be right back. My name is Ty. Today I'm wearing a special camera in the Magic House so that you can see everything I see. Follow me. The fireball is lightning passes through 14 different gases as it comes away from the electrode. This way! Here is outside. You need any more sand? This is really cool. <laughs> Anybody need any rock? Come see for yourself. There's a surprise around every corner. You supply the athlete, we supply the rest. Let Fisher's Proline Sports outfit your team from head to toe with the latest clothing and equipment. From custom uniforms and team sweats to warm-ups and footwear, Fisher's has top quality brand name Under Armour and Nike products and a great selection of fan wear including Cardinal gear. 
make sure your team looks as good as they play, stop by Fishers and Florissant or their newest store in the Chesterfield Valley. Online at fishersports.com. Get the right fit at Fishers Proline Sports. Hey, Fred, check it out. We're back on Fox Sports Midwest. Cardinals Kids is brought to you by SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. You can learn a lot more about them at cardinalglennon.com. You get that? Cardinalglennon.com. Now, if you haven't heard, today is our last show of the season, so we're doing it upright. What's next on the agenda, Fred? Agenda, Fred. What? A list of things to do. Ooh. Ooh. What is it, Fred? Vintage camera day or something? Oh, I see. I see. You want to take some pictures to remember our fine season. Does it still work? It's awfully old. Okay, well, let's take some shots. Here. All right, Fred, now it's your turn. Strike a pose. Wow, Fred, it's really hard to get good pictures, especially of you. So why don't we leave the camera work to the professionals and stick to what we do best, which is play wiffle ball, because it's time for the St. Louis Prospects tip of the week, which always starts with 10 pitches. Let's go, Mr. Photo Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Woohoo! It's time for the St. Louis Prospects Tip of the Week. Help me out, Fred. Roll tape. Coden Wong, uh, second baseman of the St. Louis Cardinals, and I'm um, going to talk to you guys about a little base running. Yeah, the biggest thing for me is I always want to stay as close as I can to the grass, infield grass. Uh, you know, you don't want to take wide turns because that makes more steps and, uh, you know, a longer distance to travel to second base. So I try to, you know, always, you know, hit the base and get, you know, as close as I can back to the, the infield grass as possible. The biggest advice for me is, you know, understand the game and live in the game. You know, a lot of guys are talented and some guys more talented than others, but you know, if you if you can be that kind of player that understands the game in and out, you know, knows every situation, how to, you know, approach a situation, that that's what takes you to the next level. You know, everyone's everyone is, you know, gifted enough to play this game. It just takes the guys who, you know, study this game and know the game in and out are the guys who make it. If you'd like to get better, go to stlprospects.com and become a prospect. Before we go to break, take a swing at this week's Laclee Gas Trivia question. Who was the only Major League Baseball pitcher to throw a no-hitter on opening day? We'll have that answer for you right after the commercial break. Cardinals Kids brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. We'll be right back. Our nationally ranked program sees more than 6,000 kids with heart problems each year. We treat them in St. Louis's only state-of-the-art suite that allows us to diagnose and operate in one place. And we have the region's top two pediatric heart surgeons. Each day, our heart team comes together to heal kids, one heart at a time. Having the best, another way our love for kids just keeps on growing. We're back, and Cardinals Kids is brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. Here is the answer to the Laclede Gas Trivia question. First, the question, who was the only Major League Baseball pitcher to throw a no-hitter on opening day? And the answer is, somebody cue the horn section. It was Bob Feller on April 16, 1940. He threw a no-hitter on opening day for the Cleveland Indians. Thank you for playing the Cleed Gas Trivia. Hey kids, welcome back to the show, which happens to be our final show of the season, and we've been doing some really cool stuff, except I kind of lost track of the big red bird. Oh, here he comes now. Hey, what's that bird? You made some cupcakes to celebrate the last show of the season, all right. I love cupcakes, especially ones with red icing. Can I have one? Nice try. Now it's on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you missed. 
Hey, truce, truce. Hey, look at the mess we made. We gotta get this cleaned up before the grounds crew sees us, before we get in trouble. Kids, while we clean up our mess, meet some people who are horsing around for a good cause. Count it down for me, Cupcake Boy. Three, two, one, roll tape. Now. This is the second annual Glennon Gallup. More than 700 people coming out to celebrate Donnie Pediatrics at Cardinal Glennon, which is a phenomenal children's pediatric center. But it's not just about the day of polo and great wine and great food, but it's a collection of people coming together to make a real difference in the lives of, of patients and children of Cardinal Glennon to give them a better environment and give them great pediatric care. And they serve more low income and impoverished children than any other healthcare clinic in St. Louis. And the fact that they don't just treat the child, but they treat the whole family. It's a wonderful fundraiser through St. Louis Benefit Polo, and all the proceeds go directly to the Pediatric Primary Care Clinic at Cardinal Glennon's Donny Pediatric Center. It's a huge thing as far as for not only does it allow for us to broaden the programs and the medical education opportunities that we can do, but it allows us to increase our outreach in the community and really take a lot of the things that we're involved in and kind of showcase them and continue to grow them to reach more children and provide more services. I think this is truly one of the best events of the summer and this year adding Nacho Figueres, one of the top polo players in the world. He also happens to be a model for Ralph Lauren in the polo line. But having him here and, and really coming to the hospital and understanding the importance of the day, that this isn't just about the polo and the red wine and the fabulous food and, and the auction, it really gets down to patient care. It gets down to giving resources and dollars necessary to make Cardinal Glennon the world-class pediatric hospital that it is. Well, I have four kids and I feel very blessed about the life that I have. I get to do what I love, which is playing polo, and I have a great family, and I think that everyone deserves a, a chance, so I think that it's very important to, to give back. So I try to use polo as a platform to give back as, as much as I can. I always try to um, visit the places that that the, that the charity matches support. I think that it, it becomes a lot more close to your heart when you get to see uh, what these people are doing. And, and what I saw is fantastic. I was able to go through the uh, pediatric center where uh, babies are being treated with the most advanced technologies in the world. So I think that um, the hospital is wonderful and it's great that we're here today helping them um, not just treat the patients that they're treating now, but also finding um, other things that they will be able to do in the future. It's always a great time at the Glen and Gallup. Now, Fred Bird and I, we had our truce, we cleaned up our cupcake war, now the only thing left to do is eat one. Is that okay with you, Fred? Not cool. Not cool. You mean, can you believe this guy? Now, I'll tell you what I can't believe. I can't believe you guys didn't offer me a cupcake. Oh, sorry, you man. Here you go. Not too bad. Kind of tasty. You know who would really like one of these? Our friend Jake. He brings us the Cardinal Glennon Sports Care Safety Tip. Hello everyone, this is Jake from Cardinal Glennon Sports Care, coming to you from Barron Gymnastics in South County with your sports safety tip of the week. This week we're going to be talking about how to decrease your chances of having an ACL tear. The ACL is a ligament in your knee that helps to stabilize your leg. Simple exercises can help to decrease the chances of an ACL tear, like learning to jump and land properly with your hips back and your knees behind your toes, learning to perform a proper lunge, strengthening the hip abductor muscles, hamstrings, and overall single leg stability will help to decrease your chances of having an ACL injury and will help to keep you in the game. Hey, thanks for the tip. Now kids, stay tuned because coming up next, we're expanding your knowledge of the game with the baseball phrase of the week. You're watching Cardinals Kids on Fox Sports Midwest. SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center is a level one pediatric trauma center and full service pediatric hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. They help every child, regardless of their ability to pay. More than 60 subspecialties staffed by caring nurses and expert doctors help them take care of everything from a broken arm to open heart surgery. Their nationally ranked cardiology and heart surgery and neonatology programs ensure that children and babies with the most complex conditions have access to the best care possible. 
At the St. Louis Fetal Care Institute, they perform life-saving surgeries for babies even before they're born. To learn more about their unmatched expertise and how their love for kids just keeps on growing, go to cardinalglennon.com. Hey, you man, what's the phrase of the week? All right, kids, here's your Fisher's Baseball Phrase of the Week. And the phrase is, Granny. A granny isn't your grandma. It's a grand slam. The next time you come up to bat with the bases loaded, see if you can hit a granny. Kids, there's your Fisher's Baseball Phrase of the Week. Thanks for playing along. Well, it's been a great show. It's been a great year. But the clock's a ticking. It's time to get going. Not so fast, you man. We have one more thing to do before we wrap it up for another season. That's right, we have awards, and there's one for each of us. Let's see what we have here first. Our first award goes to the funniest big red mascot. And the winner is Fred Bird. Congratulations, woohoo, yeah. Congratulations. Our next award goes to a former major league pitcher and author of 2,000 strikeouts and eight home runs and Cardinal Kid co-host, that's me, Andy Bennis. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred, I can't believe it. So awesome. Our next award is for incredible camera work on a television series. And the winner is our very own Scott Armstrong. All right, give the producer the camera. Come on up, Scott, here we go. Congratulations, all right, way to go. Hey, get that camera back from the producer before you hurt someone. Our next award is for the writing, producing, and editing of the Cardo Kids television show, Jim Veeman. Come on down. Congratulations. Way to go. All right. Ooh, Fred, Fred, pay attention. Get back to work, Fred. And last but not least, for outstanding announcing and excellent experiments, the award goes to Professor Eubin, PU. Way to go. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so grateful. I like to thank my wife and my kids, my, uh, my third grade teacher, Mr. Snyder, the, all the professors I had along the way. And I can't forget about my, my cousin Larry and, and the mailman and, and the lady who helped me pick out the new lab coat last year. And All right, all right, we know that you're thankful for your award, but you know who we really need to thank? We need to thank the great people at Cardinal Glennon. They're the ones that make this show possible. Yeah, you're right, Andy. And we need to thank our friends at Fisher's Pro Line Sports, at the Prospects Baseball Club, and at the Magic House. It's been a great season. Hey, maybe I'll see you on the radio sometime soon on KC95 in the mornings. Until next year, Professor U-Man, P.U., saying so long from beautiful Fisher. Well, Fred, it looks like you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands now that our show's over for the season. Any ideas what you're gonna do? Maybe you should fly south with your relatives this season. Hey, I hear Florida is great this time of year, but don't get too much sun. You know the whole fried chicken thing? Hey, I'm just saying. Just, hey, I'm just saying.